Hi guys, welcome to another video on the JB and Millie channel. Today we are heading via Dream Address to the beautiful island of Triple S and this is us continuing our Advent Animal Crossing event. So guys, sit back, relax as Luna said and please enjoy this stunning island that has been brought to you by an incredible creator. Honestly, huge, huge respect to them and we cannot wait to share this with you guys. So we hope that whatever it is you've been doing this month, you are managing to find a way to get into that festive spirit. We certainly kind of feel like we're getting there right now. These tours are helping so, so much. You know, we don't get snow here or anything like that, but it is really helping set the mood for us. We're really quite excited. So here we have some more snow for you guys. Don't you just love the snow? Oh my gosh, I can even see the North Pole in the bottom left there. This is so cool. So JB, anything kind of catching your eye right now? Just the island flag, is it a little gerbil? It looks so cute. Let's take a little look. Aww. Oh, it's like a little hamster or something. <gasps> look at the Christmas tree and the Christmas lights and the custom designs. Oh my goodness me. I feel so wintry. So guys, we are gonna head down to the entrance where we will start the tour. So here we go guys. We're starting in the residential area and all of the residents have little Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing too much JB. I can't I can't. Okay. <gasps> look at this. Look at this festive ice like kind of like an ice bar with all this beautiful ice furniture, the tree back there. The blue mush lamps fit in so well. I'm sorry guys. I just Ooh. saw stuff and got excited. I also like the kind of breaks between fence and hedges. Me too and how they've placed hyacinths in between. And it's great because the um, one thing I was a bit taken aback by is that they gave us a spooky fence for Halloween but they didn't really give us a kind of festive alternative for Christmas. No. But just the way the, like, the snow rests on things. It anything does look could really pretty nice. much be a yeah. festive fence. The blue variant of this tree. And then as I was saying before I caught sight of that gorgeous ice sculpture, there's all these residence gardens with trees and snowmen. Look at the things on the doors. Here's residence services where we saw the North Pole and that tree. Look at this little fence, uh, the little um, custom design for this path too. We've got this green and red effect. And now Ooh. we're heading into the main part of the island. So we have a little tiki bar, and we're gonna say hello to the creator. We'll oh. have the turntables, JV. Yes, office quote. Oh my gosh, look at their outfit. It's like little baubles on a like chain going down. Wow, wow. That is so cute, how the, how the turntables. Oh, JV's suddenly gone like to a 10 out of 10 with this toy, he loves <laughs> it. Oh, look at this, what a stunning area. Oh, is that like Blue Bear? Ooh. Look, kind of like you were doing with our island today, you know, with the red and white flowers at the entrance. Yeah, I've still, I still need to find some more, but it's good. And again, I'm just appreciating the use of these hedges. Oh. Wow, the tree farm, pick and cut. So choose your tree and chop it down. I want that one with the lights Ooh. on. Look at the Christmas decorations back here too. Wow. Here we have Nook's Cranny. It's closed for the winter. And we are, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I was about to go in the house, but then I saw this. So let's take a look. See what's in these little gift bags, but look all those reindeer. I didn't even know there were that many color variants. Wow. Check that out. And this is like some secret Santa, so, oh my gosh. So maybe we're robbing people's secret Santa. Nintendo oh my gosh. Switch. Rock, Rock guitar. guitar. Oh no. The inventory. Baseball hoop. Basketball hoop, sorry. And a pinball machine, wow. And here we have another character. Well met, yay. So we can see there are a few houses on this island. This one, like JB said, is a secret Santa outside. So it's exciting. <gasps> oh, there's presents under the tree. Underneath the tree. This is stunning. 
And JB is your favourite wallpaper as well. It really is. I recently used it for like a little emporium and it's just, oh, there's just so many things that they've done that I'm just really liking. Wow. I'm just so happy. I keep humming Christmas songs, which to Jamie's annoyance. Okay, so guys, let's see. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Do, whoa. Those are variants I'd never think to use, but it almost reminds <gasps> me of the Emerald City. <gasps> Holy. Oh my gosh, my eyes have just been cheered up. Is that Cody? Cody. Wow. Here's one of our original Islanders. Look at all this Christmas stuff, JB. Look at all this. And I just think those trees are so cool. Now this is a gorgeous archway. JB and I, you know, we've incorporated that on our Winter Island too. And it does actually look quite nice in the snow. It kind of goes a little bit paler. Yeah, almost like it's being entwined with, I guess, mistletoe or something to that effect. Ooh, we have another <gasps> house up here too. Whoa, did you see that down there, JB? Wow. Your little snow bears. Orange bear. Oh, I love the different variants. I couldn't use them, unfortunately, because I'm working on, like, a version where the bears are kind of meant to be real polar bears. But oh, all the other variants are so colourful. Mm. They remind me of little gummy bears roaming around. Look at this, JV. This house is gorgeous. I'm just dancing to Christmas music. Well, the Christmas music's playing in my head and I'm sat dancing to it. I love this log furniture. It all fits in so, so well. I wish I had this table, though. That's amazing. I don't know where to get it from. I imagine it wasn't too difficult to craft because you just need just wood. Just hard but wood, but it's the I DIY really want it. today. It's so yeah. nice. Maybe I'll <laughs> shoot it out from the sky. I'm absolutely loving dancing to this Christmas music in my head right now. <laughs> See, this has really got me in the festive spirit. We need to deck the halls. Deck the halls with bells of holly, fa la 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 la. Sorry, I didn't even get 10 minutes into the tour before I was singing. Look at this, this is really nice. Oh, and I forgot about that wedding, wedding season. Day. Um thing. That's oh my really gosh, good. and look at that, the snow almost looks green as it's setting on the windowsill there. <gasps> I wonder if we will get IRL snow this year. Oh, I'd love it if we did. I don't think it's high, it's very likely, but it'd be nice. <laughs> I think you'd laugh because obviously, you know, with the travel window here, we are managing to go and stay with my parents for Christmas. And one thing that I always used to do to my mum when it was snowing is make a snowball and drop it down the back of a top. And look at this ice stuff. This looks so cool. Wow. Holy. Look at all those colour variants. This almost looks like fire, but it's eyes and it's just so conflicting. Wow. This is so cool. This is... I feel like I'm in a disco. You know, there's actually an ice hotel that you can stay at. I really want to go, but I just feel like I'd be too cold. <laughs> That's stunning. I wonder how you get the ice wall. I really need it. Um, I think you get it from making the perfect snowman. Which is something I will help you with, darling. So we can get you all those ice DIYs, because I know that you've been working so hard with them to try and craft your island. So another beautiful area here using that ice panels, some snowflakes. The different coloured ice partition reminds me so much of those cube of like jelly. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my god, they're amazing. I don't think they have them in the States. They only have like tubs of jello. But I'm um, here, you can buy little tubs of, like, little, like, cubes of jelly. And I just used to eat them, like, raw without even making them into yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Oh, look at that. Wow. So this is reminding me of, like, there's always, and I think most towns do this, most towns have, like, a notorious road full of people that are just at war with each other and who can have the best Christmas lights. And walking along this lane here is almost like, like driving down those lanes there. You've just got so many nice lights and sights to see. 
I kind fantastic. of just want to see if we can get this in one picture, just because it's amazing. I mean, you've got to love this, right, JV? Look at that. <laughs> I love Christmas lights. I think those two reindeers are in love. Honestly, when I was little, and, you know, my mum used to get a bit bored at night, she'd be like, okay, kids, come on, let's all go and get in the car, and we'd just drive around town and look at the Christmas lights. They're just so magical. Oh, and we have another island home. So this is the third and final home on this island that we're excited to share with you guys. Ooh, the bedroom first look. Wasn't expecting that, that's cool. It looks so nice and natural. Just quite clean, simplistic, I like it. Oh, yeah, here's so detailed on Thorough. This, wow, this is just so mixed and amazing. It's like cottage core. Hey, JB, it's your breakfast. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. I, we, we used to do that on every tour when we saw a blender. Ooh, what else is there that's in this room? Maybe there'll be a bathroom. Mm -hmm. Nice call, Yay. JB. It's a bathroom and a very elegant bathroom at that. Look at this. I mean, honestly, wow. Little toilet back here. Oh. Wow. Stunning. I love the candlelight. We got that festive, festive JB hat. <laughs> JB's always very festive, aren't you, JB? Always. Oh, I'm like, I'm so festive. Every day. Wow. Ooh. Oh, look, there's like a little stage over here. This is reminding me of that place that you mentioned in the joining of the channels video, the vinyl tap. Oh, gosh. Because there was yes. that little like, so you'd walk in the door where the open sign is here. So let's spin around. The door was where the open sign was. There's that little kind of performance area to that side. And then there was the bar here where I couldn't get a straw because, like, they'd been banned from pubs. <laughs> and then all these, like, tables here. Then you'd go to here and choose your little records. And there's kind of a display, literally, where the jukebox is here, where you could choose from any of the hundreds of thousands of records in the, in the like, place to put on. They, they even had, like, an Avengers, like, theme tune one, right? Avengers theme tune. Like one from one of the Avengers movies, all the kind of background music on a record. Do you remember seeing that? I don't know. Because I remember being like, oh, JB, this is the one you choose. What, what, are you, what are you thinking of? The vinyl tap. I don't think they did have any of them. Okay. You might have had Guardian. Actually. Yeah, I, I class all that as the same thing. <laughs> JB's disgusted at me. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry, JB. I believe that Avengers and Guardians are two very different things. They are. I promise. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look over here. The orchard was to that side. Oh, and this is just kind of like a gorgeous garden area. So in the summer, they could have the barbecues here. Getting a little hot tub. That's really nice. Ooh, a flower field. All the hybrids. That's so cute. And <laughs> look at all these, JB. Whoa. Wow. It's such a great island for like happiness in general. Oh my gosh! Look at this! And that's like Rudolph at the front and then all the other reindeers kind of like Used almost... to laugh and call him names. Sorry. You said all the other reindeers. It works. <laughs> He's laughing at me. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's not acceptable. They didn't let poor Rudolph. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think the reindeers were wrong to bully her. <laughs> you are right, JB. Then one foggy Christmas. 
Right. <laughs> well, let's, let's look at this now. Oh, this has been stunning. <laughs> okay, guys, and here we are back to the beginning where this gorgeous ice bar was. So guys, we have loved this island so, so much. The creator has done an incredible job of transforming their island ready for winter. As always, we have so many questions for them. Like, how long did it take for this to transform? So guys, we are going to head over to do that Q&A section now. So JB, where would you like to sit for your Q&A? Oh, that's a very good question. I just want to enjoy the snow, so somewhere outside, maybe here, just because I want to feel that kind of festive feeling around the season. I, I mean, there's a nice great. holiday candle and the little oh. ice tree in the background. I need to make a wish. It is time to make a wish. And my wish is to find out the answer to these questions. So as always, JB is going to read the questions we asked the creator, and I am going to provide you with the answers the creator gave. Hmm... I wonder what my wish is going to be. I guess we'll have to find out. Okay, so the first question we asked this very, very talented creator is how long did your island take to create? It took me about a week to complete because those yellow bulbs are so hard to come by. I'd guess at least 30 hours. Ooh, like the ones you get from shaking the trees? Yes. Oh, gosh. See, that's a great new mechanic that they added. Again, I'd argue that they should have done something similar for Halloween, but I think I'll, I'll stop criticising Halloween for the time being. <laughs> what is your favourite part of the island? Um, the Secret Santa Gift Exchange, because I think it's the most original, but I do love the tree farm and all those bright illuminated trees in the back. And what part of your island was the most difficult to create? The most difficult thing was getting enough bulbs to make all the illuminated items that I wanted. My thumbs were raw from shaking so many trees, but the sparkling lights have always been my favourite part of Christmas, so I knew I had to have lights almost everywhere. Oh, see that does make sense. I wasn't aware of um, the different kind of Christmas ornaments having a degree of, you know, kind of common or rare in terms of frequency. But that's very interesting. If there is, if that is the case, like in terms of like actual rareness instead of just chance, I don't know why they would have done that, but but it's certainly great to speculate about. And I guess on that, they've just reminded me one thing that I'm a bit disappointed at with the update in general, or with Toy Day and Christmas and everything, is my favorite part is tinsel. Now I don't know how they would have done this if it was you know press A where the tinsel would begin and B where the tinsel would end. But I'm a little disappointed that tinsel has no, like, kind of place. Mm, I think that's why you like that wallpaper so much, because it's the tree with tinsel quite clearly on it. Oh, gosh. Like, the tinsel on there is quite prominent. You might be right. So, we love asking these questions. It is, what is your favourite Christmas movie? So, I do have a few. I love Home Alone, The Grinch, and Santa Claus. Yes. Oh, I love all of them. Oh. I want to watch them all. And what is your favourite Christmas song? I wouldn't say I really love Christmas music, but <gasps> one thing that we do is every year my husband and I drive around looking at Christmas lights while listening to metal or hard rock versions of Christmas songs. Um, I really have no... So, yeah, I really enjoy doing that. Oh, that's awesome, like that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, what is the future of your island? Um, I really have no idea really what's next for my island. Maybe we'll try spreading things out more. I feel like my island is maybe too orderly. Most things line up well. The paths are just straight lines. Maybe things will get a little chaotic in the spring. Mm. Well, we would certainly love to come back and see it because we are in love with this place and honestly, we cannot wait to return. And we're sure you guys are sat there watching this amazing island, wishing that you could very much be here as well. So Millie, how can that happen? Well, you could always visit the Dream Address like we are doing now, which is 7206 5512 So that is 7206 5512 
Mm, so thank you so so much oh this has just been a blast and if you guys do want to keep up with these tours we are doing them daily up until christmas the 25th and including christmas so if you do want to see that please make sure to subscribe and it is more important than ever to hit the notification button so you do not miss any of these tours indeed so for all things nintendo including animal crossing mario and jurassic world evolution please like comment and subscribe jb and millie